Welcome all. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Sending lots of love and blessings out to you all. I have two Twin Flame reads for you again today. There's some really cool messages that came through. I ended up watching a video of Sam the Illusionist as, again, um, I don't always resonate with everything that comes through on his channelings, um, but this one was really good. It was like a, a history of um, the inhabitants of Earth, and it was really good, actually. There's some stuff that came up regarding that in my read today, which is why I'm bringing it up. Um, so again, his channel, Sam the Illusionist, if you want to check it out, it was the last Palladian um, channeling video. Um, all right, so this, the two reads that I have, this is the first one, and notice that the lovers and the two of cups are both in this first read. You see the two of cups as the um, recent past there, and then the lovers right in the middle. Let's see if I can get that a little bit more clear. There we go. Okay, this is the first read from last night. And here's that full read. Okay, and then the one in front of you is this one here. From the Syrian Starseed deck. And then here's the full read in front of you. Okay. All right, so this first read, I cut the Syrian Starseed deck at 8 o'clock last night, which is a lot of source energy. The zeros is source embodiment of, or of the human, and then that energy backing up the 8 of the inner and outer strength, but also the dance between the masculine and feminine, and the 3D and the 5D. And uh, this was for today and going into tomorrow. Uh, the word rants was also coming up as I cut this this and was clarifying rants can mean rancid but it's also um, the round spreader between legs of a chair which you can take that any which way you want it means prop or shore but also a type of marble that's mostly red but has some swirling of whites and blues and i finished clarifying this read at 8 20 last night which 20 is the judgment card we had lovers justice and strength as the major arcana in this read and then before the read, transition, which is death and ascension, which is the world came up. We had one sword, five cups, and I think there was five cups in both reads, which is really weird. Five cups, one sword, one wand, one pentacle. And then the only court card was the knight of cups. After the read, the king of swords came up, the page of swords, and the knight of swords. So the king and then two kid-like sword energies. But the main um, court card was the knight of cups in the read. And the numbers, very interesting today. We had double fours, double fives, double sixes, double sevens, and double eights. This was last night. Uh, most significant were the five, six, seven, eight, and the most significant were the fives and the eights. So 44 is the four of cups, that grounding, integrating, and mastering of love. 55 is the ace of swords, the truth. 66 is the queen of pentacles, the very grounded energy. Um, also, the pentacles are the final suit, so they're the culmination of all of the suits in the, in the tarot. So she is the culmination of the queens, the 66 before the empress. She may never want to be empress though, right? So we have 77 of the sovereign and then 88 of the dance of the masculine and feminine between each twin then standing side by side. So the other, the code line is all about perseverance. And the numbers in the code line were five, five, and then two. And then we also had another eight in the code line here. So it, let's see, I didn't even add that up yet. So 552 is significant because I looked that up today, plus the eight, which is 560. And 56 was coming up significantly yesterday too. So that 560 is zero behind 56, which is the two of swords, right? Knowing, being in your knowing and keeping your energy clear or pretending not to know, whichever way it goes. And it's just about keeping peace of mind, right? So we have perseverance and those energies. And then the other numbers that came up in the code line, we had 23 of the King of Wands. In a lesser sense, 34, the Eight of Wands, and then 45 of the Five of Cups. But significant was the Two of the High Priestess, and then 5, 6, 7, 8, lay them straight. 
perseverance. And that was broken up between perceive and rance. So do you perceive that it is rancid? Okay, so the, the messages coming through here were very interesting the way this, this developed. See within the timelessness again, that fem to second meaning came up, which again is such a minimal amount of time, it's like no time at all. So see within the timelessness. The 55, which is the Ace of Swords, the Excalibur, the truth to the nth degree, the divine justice and waking, walk, waking perhaps and walking away, and Jesus Christ was coming up here. So going within and connecting to the higher realms or Jesus Christ or someone who has a problem with Jesus Christ and walking away from that and persevering. Um, expanding and contracting to see the Sophia, the collective divine feminine, expand and expand to the nth degree. The divine justice and dance of emotions and the ability to reason, which has to do with logic as opposed to the heart. Um, and then FSES -E came up, which came up as a Russian, I think, it, I thought it was Russian, but it wasn't, it's, Bul it's Bulgarian. So that website came up, FSES.BG, but also FSES comes up as Fari Fire Safety Evaluation System. And then I looked up 552 from the code line in Gematria, and the first entry there was Can't Fake Pattern. <laughs> so perfect. The second was this birth sign, which we're in Aquarius right now. The third was decode Ray. And then the fourth one was, hi, I'm Ray, E-K. So I knew that I had to follow that code. All right, so it said to decode, decode the Ray, I am Ray, E-K. So then it came up, calculate birth and must decode God. So I found the first thing was Ray, E-K, so R-A-Y, E K. So I looked it up separately, but also as one word, R A Y E K. So R E Y R A Y E K came up as Elf Quest. Rayak is a child of the rocks, and must be first in all things. Lifelong friend and love mate of Lita, they spent nearly six hundred years together before Cutters arrived and changed their world. <laughs> Do you see the parallel here? Rayak. Rayek, he has numerous, has numerous magical abilities, restless and brooding. Rayek's arrogance led him to the ultimate humiliation when his rival saved his life. So then I, was, I was, came across the word rake, but the, it has the ash symbol in the middle, the A and the E that are smushed together. So R-A-E-K, but the ash symbol in the middle with R and K on either end and R-K together is literally the Egyptian symbol for time, age, or era. So literally the time, age, or era of ash. Danish, R-A-E-K-K-E, -K -K -E, means row, series, line, tier, file, rank. And here's rank coming up regarding this rayek, who always needs to be number one. Succession, sequence, suite, column, phylum, and to hand or pass off, to reach and carry. But this one struck me the most, to be enough or suffice to be enough. So this is that energy of the masculine trying to strive to be number one so he will be enough for others. Um, so that fire safety evaluation system came up and then hi, I'm Rayek, <laughs> ranking second to the nth degree to be enough or just ranking to, to the nth degree to be enough, divine justice and walking away for a long, long time to perceive rancid prop or round spreader between legs of chair. And again, there's one of the Tarot of Sexual Magic cards um, literally is having sex in a chair. So that may be bringing up the energy some, with somebody's partner. Maybe they've been sleeping around, I don't know. But red, white, and blue marble comes up here. And then also forwarding secrecy regarding time, era, or age of ash. The table headers, right, the bookends, a, somebody at each end to keep it balanced but also polarized you know you ever see those movies where someone's sitting at this huge table at either end to show their rank but yet they're not sitting next to each other <laughs> enjoying each other's company the divine justice of walking away and then the AE was coming up very significantly 
Uh, so the divine justice walking away or uncomfortable with Jesus Christ. Um, but the A.E. was coming up as, like I said, the word rake, A R A E K, as ash and the age or era. And we're in the age of Aquarius now, right? But also A and E comes up as Adam and Eve, as well as arts and entertainment. But then when I went, I had to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and I'm saying it out loud, what I was shown, I am Ray E.K. And then I realized there, it was Reiki. <laughs> uh, it's so funny when you, you have, sometimes you just have to say things out loud, otherwise you won't get the code. So Reiki was coming up regarding Ray E.K., and also, besides Reiki, that Ray is the key. Okay? So keep following me. So then Ike came up, which also I'm just seeing now is I am the key, right? Ray is the key. You are the rays, the blue rays. I am the key. And I-K-E also was coming up regarding Ike as far as Eisenhower, but also Ike Turner was coming up. And IKE is the Internet Key Exchange. It provides security for virtual private networks, or VPNs. And there was two keys here, um, the IKE V1, which is so funny because it spells EV1, <laughs> IKEV1, or IKEV2. So it's just versions 1 and 2. So Ray Charles came up, and I looked up his birthday, uh, which is 9-23-1930, and he passed away 6-10, which was my mother's birthday, 2004. Um, all right, so I, hi, I'm Ray E.K., which came up rake, R-A-E-K, and then Reiki, and then Ray being key. This birth sign being an Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, and decoding Ray, can't fake pattern, must decode God. So in other words, breaking your patterns is a way of decoding God. Um, by the way, Ike Turner was born 10, 14, 1890. So Ray Charles was coming up as a on the cusp of Virgo and Libra. And then Ike, excuse me, not Ike Turner, but Ike the president, Eisenhower, was born 10, 14, 1890, the 34th president. Um... Yeah, so we'll go on. So we start this first read with the Six of Swords Upright, which has to do with, you know, moving to calmer waters, a peaceful place, peace of mind. All of those energies here can be traveling as well. And below it was the Four of Wands re Upright, the Seven of Pentacles Upright, the Six of Cups Reversed, Transition Upright, and Ascension Reversed. So peace, after being home, in the Divine Feminine's heart, and a negative past or childhood, transitioning through the upside down or 5D world, moving to a peaceful place, feeling weak perhaps, needing strength for the King of Pentacles, inequity post-war, out in the cold together with the King of Cups upright. The King of Pentacles and King of Cups post-war weak, an imbalanced relationship together, as the Page of Pentacles child or Ten of Pentacles family, business, and community are reaping rewards but weak in the downturn and breakup sudden explosion of the Knight of Swords, Divine Feminine in the 5D, or taking the world by storm. Slave driver prospering while slaves go hungry, the Knight of Swords kicking everyone out of the tower, including Rapunzel. After a sudden event or epiphany, the Knight of Swords turns the world on their ear, perfectly willing to throw themselves under the bus or to take the fall or remembrance of 9-11, or when responder couldn't get there in time to save someone from a fire or from someone jumping to their death, busy on the right side of the tracks, or sudden word gets out that it's not quite over yet. Leo, Libra, and Gemini all reversed, as well as Pisces, and then Scorpio upright here. Insecure magician reversed, or just without the tools, the page of pentacles researching every angle, seeing all sides, the 4, 5, and 6D, overworking, not working in their favor. It's not quite time yet at 1036, which is the wheel and the 10 of wands, the atlas energy of the weight of the world. 
chemistry comes up and beneath that was wedding, that the, this situation involves marriage as the underlying energy. Three women or three exes not in favor at this time. A sudden jealous rage with Libra reversed and Scorpio upright, closing the distance gap, no longer to be strong-armed by big palms and feet. And I was just getting fig as well. No longer being strong-armed by big palms and feet, which, by the way, strong arm that term came up in Sam the Illusionist video uh, channeling of the Palladians. So that was very interesting. Closing the distance gap, no longer to be strong-armed by big palms and big feet, or Leo, Leo reversed beast, and the Knight of Pentacles offering something healthy, but not forcing it. The bed may be a wreck, and trees down in the storm, Offering help to damsels in distress or Denzel Washington with a direct charge. No more pulling fangs or threatening to do so. Dumping tulips. Oh, that's so funny. I just came back from the dentist and I always refuse the x-rays. And this year, um, he didn't even try to push me to do anything. He just sat back and we just had a nice chat. And he's like, oh, is there anything I really need to check with her? And, he, and she's like, nope, <laughs> she's good. And he's like, it's so funny because that's just this energy here. No more pulling fangs or threatening to do so, dumping tulips or hot lips Houlihan and Charles Nelson Riley down in jungle land. Patience comes up here as number 22, which is the fool, and then forgiveness beneath that, number 96, which is the reflection of 69, which is the uh, offer of a new life of perfect contentment. Uh, divorce, break from a religion, establishment, or contract, or Taurus reversed. And the Queen of Swords upright, moving, or not fighting with what doesn't work. Out in the cold, or would rather be out from the, or out, someone would rather be out front in the cold, socializing, than in the back doing all the work. Um, and talking about fighting with what doesn't work, I went out, I needed a notary today. And I had gone yesterday, but the woman I usually go to wasn't there. And I know she's usually there today, but when I went, at the end of the day, when I had to go to the dentist, she wasn't there again. And then I checked another notary and they weren't there. And then I went to the bank and they had closed already. So again, when things aren't working, just let go. Don't force it to work, right? So reaping rewards of ashes or a fire drill or hanging out by the fruit tree, getting all the fresh fruit as opposed to the ones that are on the ground already or the fodder. That's so funny, the fodder, because the fodder also can be um, Irish for the father, right? The fodder. So Damien is, is just reminding me of the fodder. I love how he says, yeah, how he speaks with his accent. So at 1049 is the Wheel of Fortune and the 49 of the Nine of Cups. On the farm with the sheep and the squirrels in a sunny place, perhaps Florida orange groves. Or lost the eight of pentacles, or lost eight pentacles, but gained back 12, reaping peace, the divine feminine in the 5D, in the slowdown, with the knight of pentacles more patient and more self-initiating. Patience with heartbreak, separation, or on the outs with twin flame or difficult children, and rising above or awakening, and now things so over, emotionally unfulfilled, no longer confused and dumping emotional attachments to poor judgment, about um, what would make you happy with yourself. Inspired to dream, seeing synchronicities and bleeding out, defenseless to the past or energies of the past, the secret journey to the breaking point. In the recent past is the two of cups reversed in disconnect, not seeing eye to eye, or at a distance, not being able to see face to face, home not expressing, perhaps delays, heated exchanges, or not expressing your true feelings, new passion comes in or out of surrender of the empress reversed, suffering in silence or stressed out with the king of wands dropping the ball with an offer of a new life, surrender post-war, but imprisoned at the same time. The foundation here is the five of wands upright, the conflict of the past, detoxing chaos, Offering a new life or payoff to divorce, break a contract, or Taurus reversed and dumping a load, purging, overwhelmed by upside-down world of divine feminine in 5D, 
and Capricorn reversed, Taurus reversed, and Pisces reversed here, perhaps fighting. The central energy here is the lovers reversed. In a breakup with no affection and the Knight of Cups offering love to the Page of Swords, who gets to pick which one, the Page of Cups upright choosing their path, or proposal hoping they'll accept. And this can be taking kids out shopping too, letting one kid do certain things and another kid do others and it makes them feel good. The King of Cups may be over ki seeing kids going shopping or the challenge being, and this could be picking activities as well, the challenge being divine justice of the dark night, the Knight of Cups or Scorpio transitioning as the Knight of Cups offers the truth to third party or about gossip or bad influences. The King of Swords defenseless to the energies without an excuse and the Knight of Swords messenger of truth, the Queen of Pentacles, the warrior walking away, the Page of Wands excited to end her pain, and the King of Wands giving affection and setting the stage for an announcement to or about the Empress reversed. Perhaps an ex manipulative to get or insecure without happy family and home. Now in the current position or the crowning position, or the now moment, the Seven of Cups is upright. The synchronicities and options are shopping for child, which thank you for reminding me I have to shop for my, for my, uh, my nephew's child. The Queen of Swords offering advice not taken, climbing steps around and around, released with soulmate, dumping a load and reaping rewards of kids released without responsibilities. Justice in moving to peace, the stairway to heaven, no reunion in death, end or dark night or transition with bad memories of manipulation by karmic tie in order for them to reap your rewards. Conflict by flame or conflicted by flame and time out of the sun or fighting with kids or partner being draining. X or battle of the sexes or exes, insecure without tools for emotional happiness and stable home life at 1225, which is the hangman and the knight of wands. State of emergency or break down, break up, break in or break through with issues at work, dropping the routine, the mask, the act or patterns in disconnect or at a distance with sudden event or deception or up before dawn with a nightmare, bad memories of player gone wrong, cheating, breakup or falling short of the emperor's affections and happy family, holding on saving and then walking away. Soon as the knight of cups upright offering to end the pain with the Ten of Pentacles, dream family, business or community, or healers, dreamers, and or Aquarius. Star, death, and rebirth, a fallen angel and the hermit reversed, losing patience and memory or mind on a quest to journey to peace of mind, grounding and integrating the Queen of Cups, upright love, and finding peace, Aquarius upright and Sagittarius and Virgo reversed here, and the twin flames just over it. Sovereign drained in need of sun. Constant gardener picking some fruit off their tree and offering some to sovereign. Unrequited love, healing family issues, and honeymoon. And then also separately, you deserve love and calling and your soulmate came up. Around the divine masculine and divine feminine, or how they may be seen, is the eight of pentacles reversed, overworking, not working, only hurting yourself. Coming clean, cleaning up the act or space with the high priestess secret, Pisces or Virgo, and page of wands excited to awaken with the queen of cups. Confessing and coming clean to high priestess or Viking princess, the block here being the eight of cups upright, walking away, journeying onward to peace of mind. Perseverance comes up, but even more so self-discipline in that perseverance and peace of mind defenseless to advances and lacking faith, falling on face and or from grace, weak, low energy, unable to chomp at the bit, ego death and falling for hostage or victim and announcing it, foolishly falling into the trap of waking up others sleeping too late or mission work, the divine masculine's heart in the back cave all warm and cozy, the king of swords is upright in his integrity but with issues at trinity or work with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, perhaps messages and deliveries. 
which is so funny because I had an Amazon delivery and, and they said, um, you know, please rate the delivery on how it was delivered. I'm like, what are you talking about? I didn't give out delivery today. So I was looking outside and there's nothing around my door. It was like halfway down the walk. I guess they didn't want to walk on the ice. So there's definitely message and delivery little snags that came up here. And that always comes around with Mercury retrograde as well. So perhaps messages and deliveries and over it, dissatisfied, the queen of wands upright on top, but under a rock in a hard place. Peaceful travels on quest to get over it, overworking, not working and disconnect or at a distance without affection or a breakup, not with no lover or physical affection. The challenge being justice of the Knight of Cups, offering love, walking away and up the stairs, lacking strength in the Batcave, the King of Swords with issues at work, the Page of Swords and Knight of Swords over it and going back to the Queen of Wands. The Six of Swords peace in disconnect or at a distance reaping rewards, conflict with the ex and challenged by divine justice of sleeping upstairs. Ah, heaven. So again, this in my reads, uh, the Divine Masculine ends up getting stuck in the basement a lot. So it's like no one's in the house. They can sleep upstairs again. Over it is the Knight of Cups, overworking, not walking away. Weak in the Bat Cave with the King of Swords, with interference at work. The Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, messages and or messages and deliveries at, nine four, at 1249, which is the Hangman and the Nine of Cups. So then I'd wa this is where I'd watch Sam the Illusionist, the Palladian channeling, talking about, you know, what happened five million years ago, four million years ago. And it was very interesting just naming certain things. And um, um, he speaks, I assume it's Lemuria, but the way that he called it was like Amoria, but then you would, you know, L apostrophe would be like Lemuria. So I assume that was the same thing. And it was so funny because the, the breeds that came together to be the good guys were the Dagos, but it's Dagos. <laughs> it's just, it was just making me laugh because it's Italian Dago. Um, so yeah, j definitely check out that um, video. It was a lot of good information in that. So it's called, again, the Lemurians comes up as Lamania, unless it's a separate energy, but it's the way he talked about it was very closely related with the Atlantean times, so I'm assuming it's Lemuria. But yeah, check it out. Um, oh, the one the really significant thing from that was talking about the, um, the portal, the bridge. So they talked about the 1,000 year war that happened about 800,000 years ago. So between the Ra Confederation and the Anunnaki, and then, um, and then a treaty after that. So the treaty had to do with the Ra Confederation and the Syrian High Council. And by the way, the HC is also harmonic convergence. So whenever you think of Syrian High Council, you can think of harmonic convergence. And of course, Ra is like Ray. So the Ray Confederation, the Syrian harmonic convergence, came in, they applied a 666 Templar X ion unbreakable seal on the, the Dragos Anunnaki. Um, to prevent them from interbreeding. But I just wanted to bring that up because of the name. The um, Templar, so Templar comes up like the Knights Templar as, as um, but this was considered a seal to block the bad guys from, you know, reproducing uh, more or interbreeding with other species, you know, to, to perpetuate their lineage. But the X came up and 666 came up in the read. So what was significant here? And I don't want to end the Ark of the Covenant also coming up as the passage from inner earth to um, the core of, of Sirius B. And the Amenti sphere they speak of. So yeah, listen to the video. You need to listen to the, v the details. But there was that portal energy of going from earth to Sirius B and Amenti and when you break up a menti, as was happening when I did the second read, it's a amend source. So I'll get into that too as I 
go into um, as I go into the second read. Also, when they talked about the 26,500 year cycle, they called it interdensity time spirals, which I think was pretty cool. Yeah, okay. So the second read here, I cut and dealt the Syrian Starseed deck at 1207, six to seven, which is the lovers in the chariot and the 12 of the hangman. And um, I wanted to bring in some energy regarding what was going on with the twins, but also regarding Easter, because when I meditated this morning when I woke up, I was seeing a teardrop shape, and then it turned into a little ch a baby chick, like the head of the chick and the beak. So there's definitely Easter coming up here. At 12.08, Metatron's cube came up in the cards, as well as Amenti, I was hearing, and then with the Six of Swords and the Twin Flame Surrender, to the top of Mount Everest. You know, when we're up that high too, the oxygen's very thin, right? It makes us lightheaded. So Metatron's cube's significant, and there's something, some relation to Amenti. And then at 1212, which is two hangmen, the Ace of Swords came up, and I was hearing Lemuria, or seeing that in the card as well. So again, all of the stuff that was coming up from Sam the Illusionist Reed was coming up here, which is why I wanted to bring up some of the information from it. The 1214 was the um, hangman and then the temperance card, the angels, and pinks and greens came up from this read, which is very much about the, the heart and the high heart, the physical body and the etheric body. And then Easter colors of pink and green, the heart and the high heart. At 1218, then 18 being the moon, the healing chamber of the divine masculine and the divine feminine was coming up. You know, the chakra system is that portal from the human or the core of earth to Sirius B and Amenti. Um, at 12.19, I was getting Ed, which always comes up for me as Mr. Ed being God, Sagittarius, Sagi. 12.19 is the sun, the sun God. And then 12.21, the story of us was coming up. And then 12.22, I was seeing pillars around the show of power symbol, the code, and the underlying cards. So the pillars of power. And now, if, as I'm saying it, I'm getting the triangle at the Rock of Gibraltar with Hercules and um, Atlas being the pillars leading up to the Rock of Gibraltar. And then the Strait of Gibraltar, which leads to Washington, basically, or we, leads to the east coast of the United States. That was at 1222, the Hangman and the Fool. At 1228, 28 being the Twin Flames, the Choice of Path, um, the mailman stopped by as I was putting down the Knight of Cups and the Devil, which also can be the Capricorn. So, right, so remember that there's maybe a message there for you that the, a delivery that comes may be the Knight of Cups, right? It's a positive thing, but there's also a shadow aspect there. I've finished clarifying the second read in front of you at 12.35, which is 12 of the Hangman, 35 of the Wounded Warrior, the Nine of Wands. The Major Arcana were transition, which was right in the middle of the deck, the Death card upright. But in this read, it's literally talking about going through the transition portal, which that read was talking about this portal from Inner Earth to Sirius B, Inner, Earth, inner Core, but talking about the sphere of Amenti as separate from the Core to Core energies. And it's talking about the pyramids connection and how the earth shifted. And then the, the heart chakra was tilted and misplaced. And then it connected with the Pleiadians instead of Sirius, which is why there's a connection, you know, between both. So transition portals coming up here is the main energy from the reed. And that may be the link between Easter um, that I was asking about when I started this read. Um, Luna came up, which is the moon. And again, there's all, all lots of messages about the moon and what's actually going on at the moon, and then star seed as well. Before the read, shadow came up, which is also Capricorn and or the devil. We had three swords, three cups, two wands. There were no pentacles in this read. And we had the king of cups and the queen of cups as the main court cards in the read. And before the read was the knight of swords and the queen of swords. So it seems like two pairs. And this is very unusual. We had triple twos, triple sixes, and triple nines in the read. So those triple sixes that came up from 
what I just told you about, the X connection and 666. And also they kept having me write chakra again, as in the word shock, S-H-O-C-K, and Ra or Ray, the shock ray, which is the rays of sun that's coming in, the chakras. Connecting in the 666, which was the seal that prevented the Anunnaki from procreating with other species. But here I was, there's a message around that in the code line here. So we have triple nines, which is a whole lot of compassion, endings, selflessness, right? The, the nine of the hermit and the um, service to others' energy in general, right? Being selfless around the world. Six is more of a love and community level, you know, as, a far, as opposed to nine, which is more around the world. So we have triple sixes as well, which came up regarding the Anunnaki, but also, you know, that's always known as that, the devil's code. And then we have 222, which has to do with the divine feminine, the one-on-one, -on -one, and the mediating, seeing both sides of the situation, and also the high priestess. Um, we also had uh, 26 of the Page of Wands, the 69 of the Ace of Pentacles, 12 of the Hanging Man, which is coming up a lot here, being wise, seeing new perspectives. 25 is the Knight of Wands, 56 the Two of Swords, 67 the the Knight of Pentacles, the Loyal Humble Servant, the 79 of the Pot of Gold at the End of the Rainbow, and then 910 begin again and again and again, as, as, long, as much as it takes. How many times do you have to forgive? You know, seven times seven. So um, the code line is all about abundance and compassion for this read. And it was broken up at, into ABU and N dance, which can be the Christ dance, and compassion, so communication and passion. The code line was all about number six, or the lovers. And here we go with the messages from this one. The show of power of the twin moral man. The arc of the covenant, or alternating currents of the six, the lovers. The Sophia nine, the, the divine feminine collective. Toggling up the king of cups, which is also unconditional love. And the wiseness of the nine. But it's pointing to compassion, right? Nine's all about compassion, the wisdom in compassion and unconditional love. The nitwit comes up as the scatterbrained or stupid person, the one who is nothing or very small or considered as such, together with the 60, which is the six of swords, the Lemurian energy of moving to peace in the water, and the lovers toggling up to peace, that very loving energy of the king of cups, unconditional love, and wise counsel of the nine and abundance and compassion. The show of power, the tale, the text or citation or verse of the I X, I destined, the nine, the hermit to go within, perhaps root 10, I 10, coming up here. The toggling up of the king of cups, the master of emotions and heart, being wise and clear, the queen, the nine, the hermit, I-10, or the feminine, right? The masculine needing to use his divine feminine and connect with the feminine. So important. Um, the word new came up as a definition in here too, from Nai and I. And new is very important, not just like Sigma Nu in that respect, but it's other definitions. So I'll bring that up in a second. So the Christ chakra, shock and Ra, or Ray system, both two and nine, the two of the one to one and the nine of the one to all. The twins and the collective, the O, the human embodiment of source, are all and one. The citation, or in other words, citation broken down, is sight at connection, which is like a portal. The 90 masters of heart and emotions, or zero behind the compassion of the nine, the masters of heart and emotions, very wise. Again, the nine of compassion, so important here. Now to resemble or nearly equal, being neat and tidy. The E, was that for Easter or Elohim? Wait a minute. And this is like the divine masculine. So it's saying now to resemble or be nearly equal, telling the divine masculine, the feminine will now be equal with you and make it all neat and tidy. 
here's the masculine saying, wait a minute, silence. And then XT came up, which is like extra, extra, hear all about it. The divine feminine to be equal to the divine masculine? Wait and shut up. She's my possession, my property, my tree, my food, my fire, my rod and staff support. All right, so here's the rebuttal of the masculine. Um, e can come up as ecstasy as well here. I, we, she, you, us, ourselves, to have water, the sun, the tree, the river, and some coconuts. The statue of E, or together, with silence, peace, and support, toggling up to unconditional love and wisdom, the shock ra or ray, the X connection, right? The X, the X connection. What do I want to say? Not the X box, but the um, the X factor. The shock ra, shock ray, which shocks your chakra system is the X factor connection, the 666, the Elohim versus Anu, the Eve versus Adam, the ELO, Elohim is ELO, him or music, laid back electric versus the A, new, a now moment, a sense, the new, the inquirer, the excitable magnet. All right, so now here's a, there's a, a flip here. And this is the same kind of flip as I always get with the triangle, right? So as above, so below, but it isn't exact. It's the reflection of the other. It's not the same position. So the triangle, let's say the, the masculine triangle down here, then gets flipped over the other way in the etheric realm and vice versa. So here, the ELO music was coming up as the electric, but the divine feminine who's laid back, right? So it's, instead of the electric, which isn't usually laid back, the electric now becomes a laid back feminine and the masculine who is normally a laid back magnet now becomes an excitable magnet, right? So they each balance within themselves to become that zero point and then magnetize each other because as you magnetize, you know, you always ask why, why people say um, like attracts light and yet opposites attract. Well, that's because if, if you, you are in your low energy, opposites attract, right? Because that typical, um, you know, bulky guy who just wants a sexy woman is going to get the sexy woman who's not thinking much except she wants the sexy guy, right? So the more you elevate in your vibration, the more you come to the middle and the more then you attract like because you are your authentic self. You then draw your authentic self to you, which is that very balanced interdependent relationship so that was coming up here again so the new which is a measure of constringence in lenses or prisms so again some kind of measure in prisms right the reflection fract the fraction the um the zero point within that the the exclamation of surprise the one who wants the new, things want something fresh to hear or sense or ask or inquire was very much coming up as the divine masculine here. But also nude and naked were coming up. And also the nine, the, the compassion and the selflessness, but also the now moment literally came up. Now and moment came up as separate definitions right next to each other. And the instant, the now, 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 here and today, yes, at this time, was being drummed into us under this definition, under new. That bare or naked also means barren or none. So to be fully authentic is to say that you are barren or a nun and you cannot have sex, all right? So there's a wound here as well. Um, the word kamas also came up, which is uh, northwest of Siberia and the mother or feminine energy. And then Tatar, Tatar came up as the male Turks. So here we have the male Turks and the Siberian feminines, right? The very cold and the very hot extremes needing to come to the middle to merge the polarities. The moment between two magnets before they seal the deal. 
the cold Siberian and the hot Turk, Sirius B and the core of Earth. So imagine two magnets coming together, but before they pull each other together and seal that energy, right? The electromagnetic field between the two magnets right as they catch, but not come together yet. That's like that field that you want, that zero point that you want to create. We start this read with the two of swords upright and beneath is the knight of swords reversed, the queen of swords upright, the nine of cups, the happy guy satisfied getting their wish, the shadow upright and the nine of swords upright. So we have the nine of cups and the nine of swords with the shadow between. The Nine of Cups and the Nine of Swords came up again later in the read, so it's definitely, refer definitely referencing the masculine and the feminine in those two energies. So the Two of Swords being the underlying energy, knowing and keeping to self, peace of mind without outside interference, after the Knight of Swords reversed holding their tongue, with the Queen of Swords who's satisfied, alternating with her shadow, suffering in silence and stress and purging, and keeping to herself, floating on air, keeping her vibration high, and rising above, awakening to the Knight of Cups upright, offering love to temptation, the shadow, the devil, or Capricorn waving, the workplace star guilty, and then coming clean, cleaning up their act or space. And there's a delivery here at 139, which is the magician and the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups came up twice here with the delivery man. The Knight of Wands passionately rushing forward, willingly falling in order to rise and surrender. The Knight of Wands taking down the fool, lacking faith, awakening to the glass ceiling and surrender. Letting go of elitism and victim. Division of tracks, you know, the wrong side of the tracks. And guarding sexual energy, safety and security, the root chakra or ray. No more snobbery with lap dogs soaking it up no more worship, altars, multiple personality disorders, merging the polarities to meet somewhere in the middle with the monk key or the monk key in the middle floating on air, two magnets coming together, creating an electromagnetic field, Taurus, toroidal field, and zero point here. The ace of wands reversed, frustrated, of the emperor reversed and the queen of wands reversed, perhaps unable to understand the divine lovers, and Gabriel mediating control issues and sexual promiscuity issues between the Emperor and the Queen of Wands, both reversed here, with focus of sexual parts and lower chakra systems, red root and beats, the polarity between divine lovers and abusive situations. And this can even be a father and daughter here with the Emperor and the Queen of Wands. Worth waiting for, and beneath that was flirt for the twins. After sexual reunion, Closing the distance gap, the King of Wands upright no longer staging an all-business relationship that's not working or past its prime, overworked, sweetly judging 3D humans and their pride, taking down the altars and cutting ties and cords, binding them artificially. No more staged home runs of billowing blues, no more purity of white silks holding tainted humans. No one on a pedestal or tied up all neat and tidy with the green environment coming up number 44, grounding and integrating and mastering of love, and beneath it, spiritual career, that's 78, of that dream, family, business, or community. The green environment to ground and integrate love after establishing the spiritual career of your dreams. Physical heart and the high heart pink the Divine Masculine Physical Healer, the Divine Feminine, the Etheric Healer, the New Passionate 206 of the High Priestess and the Lovers in slow motion during a divorce and outside of the box thinking and recovery of them, implementing a plan to stand up and reignite the Olympic torch, removing the mask, the facade, and the act, breaking those patterns requires tripping up. Why do you think they will use a trip wire? A circuit breaker. Why are those always available? In any relationship, it is required. Standing your ground, even with eggplant colored tights or teds or teddies. No more taking collection from the flock that you don't resonate with. You may want to think twice about bug zappers too. 
Libra reversed and Taurus reversed here. Capricorn upright, Aquarius upright, Aries reversed and Sag upright are here too in the underlying energies. Dropping the coins for two orbs, much lighter than the coins, right? So we're dropping two coins to pick up two orbs to juggle. Much lighter to juggle, surrendering the Queen of Wands reversed to judgment, announcement, or wake-up call to a greener environment. The King of Wands surrenders to the Knight of Swords. The King of Wands is reversed here, surrendering to the Knight of Swords upright and the Page of Cups upright, who definitely could be kids or younger employees. The Messenger of Truth or an Innocent Love. The King of Wands taking a good hard look at their insecurities and manipulations and their lack of tools. While Justice or Libra upright, the Moon or Cancer reversed, and the Hierophant upright or Taurus at night, Lobster up in arms about the dog or dogs, State versus Church with secrets between them, the Justice system, or Libra and Taurus with one with Cancer in chart between them. Chariot upright, Queen of Cups upright, which can be a Cancer Queen of Cups, fully exposed and energized with the Page of Cups reversed and the King of Cups reversed in a heated exchange. After Twin Lover inspired the Page of Wands with sudden event, explosion, eruption, epiphany, or orgasm at 222, that's the, the show with the guidance counselors, divided split lies in the downturn, slow motion twist of fate, as the Knight of Pentacles reversed, is unable to convince the wizard, who's retired, to walk away. With good news on journey to heal what's not working and complete the cycle and come full circle with the seal of Divine Feminine, the Ark of the Covenant, the bridge of the chakra system, the Earth's core to Series B and Amenti, the Amen's source here at 225, the High Priestess and the Knight of Wands. In the recent past is the Nine of Wands reversed, the surrender of the wounded warrior, imprisoned King of Pentacles reversed, needing to use his intuition, or secret passion is out, ending in divorce or dark night, death, transition, through the justice or Pisces reversed, Scorpio upright and Libra upright, and the Ten of Pentacles family, business or community announcement, judgment, wake up call or just making calls, the clarion call, to your synchronicities, to your dreams, to heaven in your eyes, peaceful travels to make another announcement then, or another wake-up call, or pipe in music adamantly, standing in your truth, defending your call, your position and perspective, to withholding or a magnet, one playing hardball with the electric, or virus versus vaccine, again, polarities. The foundation here is the Ten of Swords reversed, where the worst is over in the bliss state. And then they were guiding me to break down state, which is stay moral man. The patient angel, Sagittarius or higher love sharing, being charitable or settling out with hierophant religion or establishment or marriage, Taurus social norms and the Page of Wands inspired by awakening and or to new ideas at 234, shut the door. Two is the High Priestess, 34, the Eight of Wands, the Arrows of Love. Then at 35, the Wounded Warrior is the central energy of the transition portal. And then Easter Island was coming up. A man and a woman, an island to themselves. Synchronicities leading you within to end the conflict with the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed the disloyal stubborn mule and the lashing out holding the one lashing their out and lashing out and holding their tongue at the same time and yet offering both of them offering big love hoarding and lying to self unable to earn and unable to form words the challenge being the king of cups reversed conditions of love or a man with emotional issues and or one who drinks grounding and integrating the same old from the king of swords reversed defensive and between the King of Wands, upright, and the King of Cups, reversed, exposed to the Ten of Cups, reversed family, unhappy about kids and travel, or unhappy about the vacation plans that somebody else made. Or Leo, that my little Nat friend just showed up. <laughs> he always lands on my stuff when I'm doing it. Or Leo, kids, sunshine, upright, and cancer, chariot, upright, with the Ten of Cups, reversed, unhappy family between them, 
or no emotional fulfillment and the cycle that's so over. The workplace receiving big love or perhaps a makeover or transitioning to something new. Scorpio, King of Cups reversed, could be the challenge here for sure. Defenseless to advances and moving to peace, making love, not war, devil or Capricorn castrated or losing their dark powers. Hermit missing their flame, fantasy rescue, ending conflict with the Knight of Cups upright, offer of love to defenseless secret passion, receiving no passion or growth and only being used while they happily give to all others to build up their ego as the savior. Now is the Six of Wands good news leading the way, moving visitation or unstable with what's not working at home. Suffering in silence to end the nightmare of deception with the Empress reverse dropping the ball, or stressed out by Cancer and Taurus both reversed and Sovereign letting go to fix, repair, and make amends. Surrender of the wounded warrior to the third party and finding peace with the Queen of Cups romantic tie. After discussing or recovering from not being able to eat out, the King of Cups reversed strategizing and manipulating with the King of Swords reversed and the Page of Pentacles upright. Both of those men may be trying to manipulate this Page of Pentacles child or opportunity into hurting themselves or getting drunk. And the King of Swords with a bad childhood, even though now the worst is over, of a split, the lies, the BS, no more flirting or casual sex, or perhaps the battle of the sexes or exes and moody Sagittarius drinker or potion maker with attitude. The Queen of Swords speaks to the hermit or goes to see the professional like the doctor or the dentist. Soon is the Queen of Cups upright with negative past or childhood, falling out with their soulmate or difficult kids, dumping a load, a burden, responsibilities, and are confessing in a heated exchange with the King of Wands upright. Then all of a sudden he's satisfied coming clean or cleaning up with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords both upright and Sovereign letting go of Scrooge or holding on and being so hard on themselves. Or a message between the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Sovereign, older energy. One Nine of Cups and one Nine of Swords. These are definitely energies of the masculine and the feminine with the devil between, the Scrooge letting go. Twin flames are seeing themselves as the Ace of Swords reversed, divided on the journey about path chosen and less traveled, hardball and deception as the new moon approaches and static in the air right as opposed to really electric it's more like towards the middle of the cycle the new moon there's no charge so it's more static the 305 implosion of the empress and the hierophant to then build up after the new moon weakening to the present moment being in their knowing and clear surrendering the wounded warrior to their destiny as Cancer and Leo are both reversed, but Libra is upright here. Very soon, attraction, and you deserve love, and also calling in your soulmate, and letting go of control issues. On the journey without options, withholding deception, or magnetizing up before dawn, needing the courage to be present, and with balanced mind, in surrender to the wheel turning forward. Around the twins are how they're seen is the Six of Cups reversed, on the outs with sad memories, the world complete, the sealed divine feminine connects, and the star falling into them, the shooting star, just for them. Aquarius and Pisces upright, or star and the divine feminine connect and fall. It takes two to tango. The block here for the twins at 310, the Empress and Destiny, the block for the twins is the moon reversed, Luna. Deception or the new moon or being up before dawn. News or a message of the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress reversed or Cancer reversed and Taurus reversed. I heard the news today, oh boy. So that was coming up right there. Compassion, abundance, but even more so moderation and manifestation. The Knight of Pentacles reversed, justice, stuck in divorce or refusing to settle out, or refusing to accept an offer, or stubborn bull, and sweet Tinkerbell, or Mary Poppins with two spoons of sugar. 
No fresh start, no bomb dropped, no download received to crown. The Knight of Wands rushing back after rejection or getting away from the Page of Cups reverse crying, vulnerable and shy, or spoiled and entitled throwing a temper tantrum or whining. Sagittarius defenseless to secret passion, ready to give them a piece of their you-know-what. Whether they like it or not, the Divine Feminine's heart in the E-Tower coming out and the Queen of Swords to Hermit with light, grounding and integrating and healing and forgiving, moving to peace without option and surrendering to defensive end, defenseless to nightmares, purging and stress of the tower, explosion, eruption or epiphany or orgasm and defenseless to their tears, floating, surrendering, the worst over in bliss, divided and split in lies and BS, needing clarity here, Regarding the negative past and the falling out or difficult kids, the wounded warrior surrenders their passions here in transition. Challenged by the King of Cups reversed and the Queen of Cups upright, Scorpio and Cancer reversed on journey with good news, falling on face from grace, lacking faith, and happily so. Coming out for peace regardless of path, surrendering it all up to the frog to prince, mount ever rest where the oxygen is thin and lightheaded, his crowning achievement connecting in 5D at 324, the Empress and the Queen of Wands. Holding their tongue, the Knight of Swords reversed, and the Queen of Swords upright, happy with the shadow nightmares and floating right through it, surrendering the act, the worst now over, now bliss in transition to journey challenged by the King of Cups reversed at 328, the Empress and the Twins. The split, the divide, the Queen of Cups upright and the Six of Cups reversed, deception, lacking faith, implementing a plan for peace without option, giving it up to the growth spurt and or epiphanies. All right, so let's pull an energy deck card and see what comes up. everybody watching the best and highest good of all those concerned what do we need to know and learn for the twins here what is our takeaway I just whistled a little bit there it's 622 on my clock and then 102 16 so the lovers and the fool and then here the magician the high priestess and the tower who that could be an orgasm or some kind of sudden explosion or event between the magician and the high priestess All right, so let's clear all blocks to positive energy flow in all chakra layers, auric layers, grounding, and galactic cords across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and reality to the highest good of all is concerned and fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> Take another deep breath. Okay. We have the angel of strength, which is like a combination of the strength card and the ten of cups. Ten of Cups is reversed in this reading. And so is the Strength card. So someone's feeling very weak, perhaps, needing the strength and courage. And then these two are coming out together. The Sun. And the Sun was upright, and so was the Hermit in this. So it's kind of like this. So this could be like the family falling apart as the Sun comes out and the Hermit comes out with their heart expanded and we have the one to nine you know one and nine are the most powerful numbers because it's the beginning right the i am presence and then the nine of the collective right this is the selfish and the selfless and the need to merge the two okay and then this is the family not feeling strong and not feeling emotionally satisfied and then going out in the sun perhaps to give to others, making yourself feel really good, and then extending your heart to others. And then what comes in, up next is action. Here's the polarities merging together, which came up a lot in this read today. 17 of the stars running together as another walks away with a new passion. 
All right, the bottom of the deck is the door to romance, 33, the Christ vibration and the seven of wands standing up for yourself to relight or reignite that Olympic torch that came up in the read after the indecision and letting go of that and transcending that, right? Especially when you can't go forward because we're being restricted right now. It's transcending all that, no matter what the situation, to always be happy and always have the door to romance open. 33 of the Christ vibration, again, standing up for yourself. That's the underlying energy. Um, let's see what the journey of love has for you. the light field there you go a lot of i guess we're gonna we're in for i was just want to say a shit storm but it looks like we're in for a lot of light coming in here so you might be starting to feel it so you might feel energized today but it's maybe warning you that there's more light coming in so stay at the middle of the bridge you're doing good right so we're at the new moon on the 11th so be aware of the energies you know the new moon whereas the full moon you know it's explosive the new moon's more of the other energy of the um the static energy and then the mid-cycle may be, you know, ideal to do certain things. So note on your calendar what's been good for you at what certain times during your lunar cycle. So the light field, 63, is the suffering and silence, right? When you get stressed out by all the light coming in. But just know that it may be coming. And then we have the temple as well. The temple. It's coming in to light up the temple. And the 59 is the five of swords, the defensive end. Oh, look at that, the defensive end, the end and coming together. And you notice, I want you to notice this energy too. There's another card that wants to be seen as well, but I want you to notice here, see how the bridge is rounded like this? And then here it goes, the, uh, it's like broken up. And it's reminding me of the toroidal, you know how the middle of the toroidal field is the, uh, the vortex here, that energy here? It's showing you like the two different energies of being in the middle on the bridge and then coming together where the two magnets come together and create that feel, that static field of the zero point is what I'm getting. And this is definitely reunion here. I mean, this can definitely be marriage. As the light comes in, there's a bit final blast of light that comes in. And this may be the time period from now through Easter where a lot of blasting comes in, that final purge Get those last little bits out in order to come in the most in, in the most high vibration possible for the two of you. Okay, so there's definitely that energy of union coming up, and this has been coming up not now, but I don't know if you've noticed in the reads, but a lot of my reads are coming up with the lovers in the middle of the read, and it doesn't matter if it's a breakup or not. The lovers never used to come up in the read, and now it's coming up all the time in the center of the read. This is very significant. And knowing without knowing. You don't need to know. That's what faith is. And we're not going to say the word patience anymore. We're going to use um, patience, P-A-T-I-E-S-S, because that means being authentic, true to who you are, expressing your true feelings. And notice this is very 2D. Even when you see this, you know without knowing. So stop believing what you know isn't true. 41 is that self-love, spiritual love, and new love that is here but this may be what you're seeing at the moment so don't be fooled by the 3d energies okay so those are the three cards that came out and then the underlying energy here is the ancient ones the 52 of the queen of swords right she is the light she receives the light right from the ancient ones She's very familiar with that energy already. She pulls it in and then transfers it to the divine masculine. And that can be the feminine within the masculine as well, but this really is more geared towards the divine feminine. And then underneath there's her grace. So it's been all about the divine feminine because the feminine's the one helping to keep the, the vibration really high. All right, the 17 of the star, her grace, the shooting star. And here's the shoker rays. Her and her magic and her magical curves her being magnetic in the way she is, right? Being a relaxed electric. Being electric, receiving the light. 
and yet being relaxed about it, learning how to receive all of this energy and yet not get stressed out. So that was coming up regarding the electric feminine relaxed and then the magnetic masculine more excited. Very interesting the way the energies are coming up there. All right, so let's read the, the light field, number 63. Remember that defensive end comment, right? That the end, the defense at the end is the end though. That's the point. The light field, you are very open to the other side. The veil that separates the worlds is very fine for you. For there's much love in your heart and love exists beyond all barriers, including those of time, distance, and even death. If you wish to communicate with those who have passed on, do so through your heart. If you want to communicate energetically with your beloved, even though you are separated in a physical location, then you can do so now. If your psychic abilities are opening for you and you need confirmation or reassurance, accept this message of guidance as being such. Those who have passed can be received fully and peacefully into the light and your love guides them home. The messages that you sense in your own heart that come from unconditional love, that uplift and reassure can be trusted. The light is so close to you, beloved, it surrounds you as glow from within. This oracle brings you guidance that you are connecting with a field of awareness that is real and that you are protected by light as you do so. It is confirming that there is nothing for you to fear and that those have passed on will, or will pass on in the future will always be safely held in love. It is also confirmation that there are very real bonds that connect you to your loved ones, past, present, and future, that are beyond the confines of time and space. And the poem reads, When I'm in love, I'm not afraid to be. Any part of me, I let it all be free. For the world to know, and when I'm ready to love, I will create a reflection of who I am, and we will shed our fears, complete our past, and trust love to be our guide. And so it is. Drink your water, drink, drink your water, Get your rest, get your joy, get your nature. Do what you want. It is your life. Rise and be loved. Bye.